Hey guys, have you ever wondered how banks calculate the interest on your loans? In this quick video, I'll show you how they do this by using my mortgage as a true example. Over the next few weeks, in addition to my normal content, I'll be creating a few spreadsheet videos to help you on your financial journey. These will help you with budgeting, handling debt, managing your stock portfolio, and hopefully a few other areas that can also be useful. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below to see more content just like this in the personal finance and investing space. The first thing that you want to do is open a new spreadsheet. If you are tight on money or want an internet based one, you can simply use Google Sheets which is linked to all of your Google accounts such as Gmail and YouTube. Alternatively, you can also use Microsoft Excel, but today I'll be using Google Sheets. We'll use my loan here to check our spreadsheet calculation is correct. As you can see here, between the 14th of June 2023 and the 28th, I paid $100 $124.47 in interest. The loan balance during this period was $50,000 and the interest rate was 6.49%. To be as transparent as possible, this tranche of my mortgage is with ASB Bank, or ComBank for those watching in Australia. So let's plug this data into my spreadsheet. As I mentioned, the balance of the loan was $50,000 and didn't change throughout the period I'm looking at. I'll show you in my second example how to calculate interest for a floating offset or redrawable loan. The annual interest rate is 6.49%. And finally, the start date and end date, like what was shown on my statement, is the 14th and 28th of June. What we want to do now is to calculate the number of days the interest amount relates to. If we subtract the end date from the start date, we get 14 days. This of course is a fortnight. The second thing we want to do is to calculate the daily interest rate. For this, we take our annual interest rate and divide this by 365, which represents the number of days in a typical year. Now we have all the pieces needed to calculate our loan interest. We simply take our daily interest rate and multiply this by the number of days we're looking at. In this case, 14. We then multiply this by our loan balance throughout the period, in this case $50,000, and once we hit enter, we should have the interest charge. Our calculation comes out to be $124.47, which is exactly the same as what I have on my ASB statement. Please be mindful, of course, that there could be some rounding. However, in my experience over the past year, this calculation is consistent with my bank statements. If we instead look at a floating offset or revolving loan, the calculation is fundamentally the same, but requires a little bit more work for us to calculate it. To make it interesting, as you can see here on my statement, I made three separate real transactions to change the loan balance. To recreate this in our spreadsheet, I need to list out all the days between the two dates. Starting with the 14th of July, we can simply click and hold the bottom right corner of the cell with the date and drag this down until we get to the 28th of July. The interest rate on this loan is the same as the one that we looked at earlier, so we'll use the daily interest rate here as well. Now we need to copy our loan balances from the statement. On the 14th, we started with a balance of $43,053. We can then copy this down to the 18th of July when I made two separate deposits of $1,000 each. This brought the balance down to $41,053 between the 18th of July and the 26th. On the 27th, I made a further deposit of $1,000, bringing the balance down on the final day to $40,053. Do note here that banks usually calculate interest on the closing balance at the end of the day. Therefore, we don't calculate the interest for the 28th as banks Banks generally sum these values and charge them to your account during the business day. As you can see, we have calculated a sum of $103.44. This is the same as what you can see here on my ASB Bank statement. So there you have it, the methodology for you to calculate the interest charged by your bank. You can also use this to calculate interest on many savings accounts too. It is likely that some of the banks may calculate their interest differently. However, in my experience with ASB, this is the most common approach. If you found this video useful, please make sure to drop a comment down below, or consider subscribing to my channel to see all my future content in the personal finance and investing space. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.